بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم dear students as you can see إن شاء الله now we are going to present unit 9 steps 7 and 8 have a look on these uh, ideas open your students book on page 72 and 73 in order to have a look at the ideas uh, of the two lessons of today 7 and 8 unit 9 as you can see in front of you we uh, use to uh, introduce the new vocabulary first of all so from the very beginning we are going to present the new vocabulary words to remember as you can see you have to look at these new words and to would like to present them a word by word point bill biography customarily degree doctorate master's degree ministers parliament portfolio resign whereas the care students have a look at them again have a look at these ideas at these new works and we would like to just introduce them word by word let's start with a point to choose someone for a job as you can see a point someone means to choose someone to have a job the next one here we have bill as you can see this is something like a law but this is a written proposal for a new law bill and after that we have biography as i told you before an account of someone's life written by someone else and i think that there is students there is a difference between biography and autobiography and i'll tell you the difference inshallah in this lesson today well, now let's uh, start uh, by uh, focusing on the meaning of biography or the definition of biography which means an account of someone's life written by the person himself or someone else have a look by someone else Next, here we have customarily, usually, means usually. After that, we have degree, as you can see, dear students, a course of a study at university. Degree, course of study. Doctorate, university degree on the highest level. This is doctorate. After that, we have master's degree, dear students. We have university degree that you can get by what? Studying after graduation. So when you study after graduation, you can get master's degree. This one, master's degree. After that, we have minister as Masum al Mubarak, Dr. Masum, as you can see, there is students here, a politician who is in charge of the government department. Minister, this is minister. Parliament, as you can see in the package, a group or the group of people who are elected to make the country's laws. Parliament, this is a parliament. And here we have portfolio as you can see there is students the work that a particular government official is responsible for this portfolio portfolio after that we have resign to leave your job to leave your job resign and here we have whereas means but or in contrast comparison with the fact that or we can say but simply we can say whereas in the same as but these are the students the new vocabulary and i like you to try to revise them again a point here to choose to choose this one to have a job after that here we have bill like this low we have biography usually customarily degree we have doctorate master's degree minister parliament portfolio design and we have whereas these are the new words the new vocabulary that you should focus on try to revise them again and again they are very 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 important after that we would like to have a look at this word again biography of masum al mubarak as i told you an account of someone's life written by someone else here have a look at this reading text here biography and i'd like you to think about this text read it first of all masum al mubarak and would like to discuss some ideas together what is a biography and how is a biography different from an autobiography as i told you before have a look the difference between biography and autobiography biography is written by someone else but autobiography is written by the person himself whose biography have you read or would you like to read this this uh, you have to think about it. What kinds of biographical details could be included 
under these headings. We have some details like this and would like to think about them. But first of all, try to read the text. And then I will give you the difference between biography and autobiography. What is biography? How is a biography different from an autobiography? Let's see. A biography is the story of someone's life written by whom? By someone else. But autobiography by the person himself. So the difference between biography and autobiography is that the biography is written by someone else, but autobiography is written by the person himself. It's very important, very, very important. Whose biography have you read or would you like to read? You can read about Masuman Mubarak or someone else. What kinds of biographical details could be included under these headings? We have personal details, physical description, family and early life, career, personal life, important dates, beliefs, opinions, achievements, and would like to decide. Personal details like what? Name, date of birth and age, physical description, height, weight, hair, color, family and early life, family education, trusts, Career, qualifications, previous jobs, current job. These are some ideas. Personal life, friends, marriage, children, important dates, school, higher education, jobs, beliefs and opinions, principles he lives by. So here we have so many ideas, achievements in a sport, examinations, current challenges, and so on. So all these are very, very important ideas. Here which information from question one to see above is included. Let's see, you have to read this part first of all about Masum and Mubarak, and then you have to think about the answer for these two ideas. Think about it, read it carefully, please, dear students. You have to read it carefully. Let's see which information from question one to see above is included. Here we have personal details family and early life, career, important dates, in addition to achievements. How is this biography constructed? Let's see here. In paragraph one, we have birth and family education. Paragraph two, we have details of her career. In paragraph three, we have achievements. Take care, so we have so many details. In first paragraph, birth and family education. In the second one, details and her career. In the third one, we have here achievements. Masum al-Mubarak has taken many political positions. Give examples like what? A political science professor, a minister of planning, a member of the parliament. All these are political positions for Masum al-Mubarak. After that, in page 73, we would like to just have a look at writing a short biography. But when, we, when you write a short biography, you have to check spelling very, very, very carefully. Take care, dear students. You are going to write a short biography of someone you know or know about. Take care, dear students. You have to concentrate on the ideas that should be included in writing a biography. Let's see here. Plan your biography in four paragraphs. So you have to write four paragraphs. Make sure you compare their life in the past to their life today. You have to compare between their life in the past and their life nowadays. You have to write four paragraphs. It's very important, dear students. Write your biography in 20 to 20 to 200, 220 words. You have to include personal details, physical description, family and early life career, in addition to personal life, important dates, beliefs and opinions, and achievements. Take care, dear students. Check spelling, grammar, and punctuation. You have to check these ideas again. Check spelling, check grammar, and check punctuation. It's very important. You have to write correct English. This is, uh, dear students, what we have for today. And I'd like you to try to concentrate on these ideas. You have to concentrate on uh, vocabulary. Uh, we have to concentrate on writing also. And you have to revise them again and again. This is what we have for today. Dear students, thank you very much and see you next time.